Alright, so we're uh, stripping Bear Bright. Um, got tons of this stuff here. And we've got it, you know, we got different sizes. I got it set up, so, so that's too tight. You don't want it that tight, okay? You want about, you know, a little slop in there. Takes it right through. If you got it set up with all the different wires, you know, you got to get a happy medium. So it just peels right off. Okay. I can actually tighten my tighten up a hair. I got it. I got it pretty much as loose as it'll go with the spring pressure. Let's run another one. See how that one? I tighten, I tighten up just a little bit. You don't want to be cutting your uh, copper, but you want it to peel off. Let's see what it looks like coming out. Okay, it just falls off. So we had a jam. First one this morning. Now, I, it's a smaller wire, but it's a big gauge in there. Hard to see. See, it's, it's a really big wire in this small wire. So I put it through the right size hole, but she jammed up in there. Let's see if you can see it there. She just boogered up. Won't pull out, won't do nothing. So I'm going to have to cut it and figgle it and get it out of there. Um, the blades, this is, I've been running a couple hours on Bear Bright on these blades and eh, I don't think they're gonna last as long as I hope we'll see um, one of the problems I'm having is you know you run with as least little pressure as you can but these keep vibrating looser and looser so I don't know if I'm gonna put some tape on them or something but they'll I'll have it set perfect and they'll sit there and just vibrate out as you're running and screw up your set so I mean they got springs on there but even with those springs I mean I I can't crunch it down too hard um, or I'm cutting in my wire, but even with the spring, these things are just slowly backing out as I'm running it. So I'll probably put some tape or dope or something on there. But I'm going to dig this out. So we stripped a bunch of the uh, two inch tray cable and ended up with a bunch of this, uh, I don't know, what is this, 250? Maybe it's four aught, but it goes through the machine. All right. So it just peels right off. So I ran 4,000 pounds of 250 MCM through this blade alone. And trying to keep it as light as possible, but it it did okay, but that one's going to have to be replaced. And this one I've run a bunch of little, you know, communication wire, and it's doing better. I've been hitting some zip ties and things. This has been clean wire. So I think I think about 4,000, 5,000 pounds of that larger bare brights all these blades will do. I know it's hard to see. But they're getting nicked up and you can tell it in the uh, when it starts coming out. It's not fully cut. You gotta put more and more pressure, and that just makes it grind on the wire more and more and it gets duller and duller. So this one here I haven't even used and it's razor sharp. That one's been used for about 4,000 pounds and you can tell the difference. So we've st stripped about 15,000 pounds of bare bright on this side here. 
you know, we've done about 20,000 pounds of this two inch, anywhere from inch and three quarter to two inch, which has given us bare bright. But the problem I got is on this end, so when I open it all the way up and get my two inch in there, I don't have any room left here. I was really under the impression that this would do four inch uh, cable tray or tray cable. Um, but I hit that. I had to already, I had to, this guide right here, I had to come back in here and cut it out so that I could get it over farther because it was, it was hitting this beam. So I had to cut that out. But now the problem, if I go really inch and three quarters, this is hitting and I'm having to move this guy, this blade that way to the left and this guy to the left. So I'm cutting off center. It caused me a few problems. So I really got to figure out how the heck do I get more room here? It ain't working. So I'm fixing to come over here on this one and I could, I've done two inch on this one. I'm gonna start spreading it out better, farther. But really, it don't look like I'm gonna get my four inch through there. Then you got this side over here, which is wider, but you can only put a blade on one side. And that don't help me a lot. Um, have you ever tried to peel four inch cable with just one cut? So, it's gonna be interesting. So we're gonna jump up what we have is we've got these triple 500 MCMs that we got to cut out. So, it's going to be fun. So, this stuff is two, I don't know, two and a quarter, two and a half, triple 500 MCMs. And, you know, this is the reason I bought this machine, was to split this bigger stuff. So, this is how I got it set up. And you'll see, I gotta do some more tweaking. I've got it kind of cutting, but it needs more tweaking. It's not, you'll see, it's not doing exactly what I want to yet. Right. See how it's poking it out? And it's, it's stalling. And he kind of wiggles it around and it'll go through some more. All right, hit me again. Now you want to push the wire, yeah. Yeah, that's a fight right now. Alright, pull the plastic. Put your hand over the end of the back side of the wire and try and keep it pushed in. I got one guy pushing and one guy pulling. There it went. We're losing traction is what we're doing. Wire slipping inside of the casing, and then we lose traction. And once we start losing traction, we're not getting cut on that side. So I'm gonna try and adjust a little more. So what's happening? Because this is just not wide enough for a two and a quarter, two and a half inch piece still. So it's see how it's hanging right there. So I can't get this blade far enough over. So I mean, I got just a smidge in here, and then I've, I've, I've widened out the back. So the back, I've widened it out so that you know we're pinching and opening it up. All right. So these 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 two are closer together than the back two. Um, I'm gonna try and widen this out a little more. And I may scoop my guides and everything that way an eighth of an inch because we're getting really close. 
So I'm having the same problem that I had over here with them going, ass snaking through it. So I put the back guides, I took the guides off the front and put them back here to try and stabilize it. It's still kind of essing, and I'm still getting, I get cut here and not here when it, when it goes, you know, kind of waves through there. I'm still doing more adjusting, but it's coming off easier. I closed up these guides so they're straight on the front to try and take out some S. Snaking. All right, come on. And then we're feeding curved down to try and keep it forced down on those guides. And we got it in first gear, not second. But we actually got it feeding. And we're, our, my knives are actually too deep. See, I'm cutting into the to the to the copper. But if I loosen them up, then I'm not cutting. I, I still got to work on figuring out how to get that S-curve out. All right, keep going. Push them through as fast as you can. And our goal was to try and get them to peel easier. This, this is still pretty difficult. Still a two-man job. And I'm not happy with these bolts. These bolts and nuts are and just I'm using a 19 millimeter on them and they're just rounding out. You gotta adjust them so much. So I'm gonna have to change those all out to some good old American steel. The last couple always hang. I may cut my knives over a little bit, cut them sharper on the inside corners. That may help. And I had to put more down pressure. So I'm putting a lot of pressure, so I'm squeezing these things pretty hard, but without it, it was just sitting there spinning, yeah, but at least we're spitting through, and a lot of it's just coming off pretty easy, but it's you know not quite cut, and if you look at the pressure, you know, how much I'm squishing them, and then what Anton's doing is he's making sure we're only putting the same size of time through, because we've got you know, two inch and two and a quarter and two and a half. So sort is super important. And then this is the same size as the black, but it's a different material. Let's try one of these pinks, Anton. We have miles of this stuff. So I'm gonna have to play, play some more. And then we have miles of the score and a half. I ain't figured that out yet. Alright, throw a pink. Was that a pink? That one's going right apart. Yeah, that's the pink one. He ram it through. Give it a ram through. Yeah, that's probably getting stuck. He's got to wiggle it. Try and get it out of there. There he goes. So stop it. Get in there and grab that piece out. Now reach in through this hole. Should be able to reach in through that hole. Grab that chunk out of there. That's the only way you're going to do that. So you got, here. That last piece sometimes don't cut. All right, keep going. So, this is the same size but a different material. Give it a little love going in there. You may have to, there it goes. Actually, that's just a hair too tight. All right, don't do no more pink ones, Anton. We're gonna have to readjust. All right, just do those blacks. Yeah, see, we're actually an eighth of an inch too big. 
so what I did, we started running this pink stuff. Everything's a little different. And I opened up the guides a little bit, but left the teeth where they're at, the cutters, keep hanging right there. You can see we're barely, just trying to zoom in on that. I'm, I'm still S curving in there. One blade's deep, one blade's not. Hmm. Anybody's got ideas? Let me know. So I've spent a lot more time adjusting my guides, adjusting the guides on the back. I still got some S curve. I had to open open them up there and close it down here. You get them too tight up there, it hangs up. I think over on this side, my finger. I'm gonna sharpen those blades more right in there. Cause that's kind of hanging up right there and not cutting. All right, hit it, Anton. If you put the if you put it in backwards the wrong way, it don't want to grip. You gotta put the curls going forward to the right and it goes through. And so we're still getting some S curve. I just I haven't figured out how to work it out. But they're peeling better. I'm just making minute adjustments. And of course this is the last one of this type material. Ah, you put it in backwards. It's hard to tell. Now that cut in is probably going to jam. So he puts it in the right way with the coils going the right way and it comes right out. So I just found a problem. The keeper nut came loose. That's one reason we were S curving so bad in the past couple my opinion. I'll tighten that up and see what it does. So we tried running the big stuff, the bigger, you know, the three inch stuff on this side with the more aggressive teeth. It didn't work. We've tried it in the middle. It didn't work. So we're back over to here. What, what it does is it loses traction, just eats up and stalls and it's just a mess to get it undone. So we're back over on this side. We took out this blade and just running one blade here. Um, and we're just doing a single cut and then peeling it off. That's really the only way. It's taking longer on the table to peel that off, but we're spending more time with jam ups over here trying to double cut it. So, and then we found that if you go one way, it feeds better because it's the way it's jointed. If you feed the other way, it automatically strips. It's just been too much of a hassle trying to get this stuff through this side in the in the three inch. We still got the four and the four and a half to go. We'll try, but we've had better luck with the two and three on this side with just a single blade. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more videos. Mm -hmm.